So this is a really interesting topic from uh, Greg Macropoulos, uh, Macropoulos, sorry, um, Greek name, I believe. Um, and he says, Greg says, why were, why were slings not used en masse in medieval times like they were in ancient times? And this is a fantastic question and one that actually is su such a good question that I was going to make a main video about it, but then I realised I couldn't because I don't know the answer. <laughs> and I don't think anybody knows the answer. Um, I would actually turn the question on its head. Um, from a medievalist's point of view, I would say that slings were not used en masse in medieval battles um, anywhere in Europe, as far as we know, or in fact anywhere in the world, as far as I know, in the medieval period, because slings are not very effective against people who've got even light armour on. If you've got even a gambeson on and a helmet, a sling's not going to hurt you. Um, I mean, I know that some people have done some tests and you can get some amazing velocities and power out of a sling, um, but unless it hits you in the face, um, if you're wearing a gambeson and a helmet, which is ba the basic armour of most medieval soldiers through most of the Middle Ages, or most of the later medieval ages at least, um, I, can't, I just can't see a sling bullet doing much to you. Um, I mean, we even know that, you know, padded armour, certainly things like jacks with 20 layers of linen, were a reasonable protection even against arrows, even against longbow arrows. So a sling bullet's just not going to do anything. So I would turn the question around. I would say, why were slings so popular in the ancient period? And I, as is, should be obvious from my videos, I don't know as much about the ancient period as I do about the medieval period. But um, my first guess, shooting in the dark, would be there were far less people with armour in Greek and Roman and Egyptian times. So, you know, if you're dealing with an enemy who, who's who got five-sixths of their army and made up of people who are essentially just wearing a toga, um, then shooting uh, slingshots, uh, sling bullets at them may well do quite a lot of damage and maybe, very, maybe helmets were fairly rare amongst light troops um, in the ancient period. Maybe this is why. Um, that's, that's the only real thing I can think. Maybe also slings were, generally speaking, not very lethal weapons. Maybe they were used more to harass the enemy, to, to assist other tactics, um, to, yeah, who knows. Um, I, I guess also another thing which might be relevant is perhaps you were dealing with, in the ancient period, very large sort of peasant-raised armies who weren't necessarily really soldiers, maybe they were more likely to run away. So if you pelt them with a load of sling stones, they were more likely to, if a few of them got wounded, turn tail and run than they were in the medieval period. I don't know. Um, so there we go. I, that's pretty much all I can say about it. I don't really know. It's very conspicuous fact in, in military history that slings were very clearly a big thing in the ancient world and very clearly not a big thing in the medieval world. I can only guess that the prevalence of helmets and other armour have something to do with it. And finally, to finish off, um, pommel throwing came up again in, in the comments, and uh, as you know I made a video about pommel throwing saying that, um, that I thought it might be a joke. Thinking a bit more about this, and I have to be honest, I've never really, I've known for years, uh, probably a decade, that um, the pommel throwers in Gladiatoria Codex. Um, but I've never really thought about it much because I've never really had to. <laughs> um, I just kind of knew it was there and accepted it. There are definitely some strange things in some of the treatises. Um, and, you know, you don't necessarily have time to, to dwell on why is that there, what, how that might be used. So I think partly it might be a joke, but I think two other points, two other really good points got raised in the comments underneath my video. One is that it might be to to do with the rules of the combat. So it's very clearly a type of uh, judicial or knightly combat where there are certain parameters that need to be uh, kept within and also certain criteria that need to be met. And one of those criteria seems to be that you have to throw a weapon. And yeah, I think it's a completely valid point that if you have to throw a weapon, if you can make a longsword where you can unscrew the pommel and throw the pommel at the person, then you've fulfilled that criteria, you've got around the rules, but you've still got a longsword and you've still got a spear. Yeah, I think that's completely valid. That, and you've still got a dagger as well, in fact, and a shield. Um, that could be absolutely the point.
But I think that the other point that people, uh, the most number of people I think uh, raised that was really valid was it could just be a flinch thing. It could be uh, that you throw the pommel at the person's helmet as you charge in to grapple them with a dagger or your sword held in half sword or whatever. So it could simply be to get a flinch reaction out of the opponent. I'm not sure if, if the text of the treaties really supports that, but it certainly makes sense. So there we go guys, there's some uh, Q&As from your very useful suggestions under my uh, video from when I was travelling. Thanks a lot.